to Ivan Tenseria. I think that's how you say it. All the way from the Ukraine. Cannot wait to play with this. I actually came 10 days earlier than what I was expecting it. So shout out to you, Ivan. Hold on, hold on. And we're good, we're good, all right, yeah. As soon as CJ gets out to make a video, let's just run a tractor, right, by my camera and microphone. <laughs> it's been a while since a good old vlog, hadn't it been? Man, this is a really cool lens. It's the Helios 44-2, some vintage glass. I couldn't wait to play with this thing when I first got it, even when I was sitting with Angela in the Sonic parking lot waiting for our food to come. Okay, she's coming. She's coming. Thank you, funny. I think she's funny, everyone. Yeah, you get me all the time. Mira. No. I think she's funny. Leave me alone. Stop. That's pretty weird. <laughs> That's weird. Summertime, summertime. Love's in his prime Summertime, summertime Everything's just fine But often came, often came Turn love into shame And love's a game, love's a game No one's to blame Who are you counting on? Who are you leaving? A lot of cool features with this lens. It just gives you a different look that you wouldn't normally get from regular lenses. And this vintage glass is under a hundred bucks. Now you can get some of these rehoused with the uh, sensor, uh, what do you call this thing? A uh, um, adapter, adapter, yeah, with a, with a sensor adapter already on it. Or you can get the lens and the adapter for under a hundred bucks. If you if you get them rehoused from like ironglass.com or something, I think they're anywhere from like eight hundred to eleven hundred dollars. So this is really cheap. Uh, it being a film lens, it is manual focus only. Uh, that's kind of obvious. No like in body or, or optical uh, stabilization within the lens itself. But the number one feature about this lens or about any other vintage lenses that I've seen videos on is it gives what we like to call our footage character. In other words, the image that we get from this vintage lens is different than what we get from regular lenses uh, that are mass produced. These are were handmade, uh, so it's kind of one of one uh, image that you're gonna get. That's why it has a really distinct quality. Really, really cool swirly bokeh that you get for both photos and videos. Here's, here's photos, I forgot, photos. You get the cool swirly bokeh in the background. You also get one like you can see lights and it has like the really cool uh, cinema lens type circly uh, bokeh from the lights because the sensor uh, is a circle. Even though we put an adapter on it, uh, the image that we're gonna get coming through the glass uh, has nice and, and circle, not, not rectangular, uh, like more like what we're used to. And so if you're looking to kind of make your footage stand out and just give it a really cool look, uh, man, pick one of these up. There's no reason not to and I was super surprised in post-production I guess it being a film lens. I guess it just gives you a little bit more dynamic range I was able to push and pull contrast and colors just a little bit more than I would with a normal lens And so that's one thing that I was really pleasantly surprised about. Thank you guys for watching this video uh, My name is CJ if you have any questions about this lens I'd be happy to answer them down in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'd love it if you did. I'm into all things camera stuff, 
uh, filmmaking, photography, and yeah, all things cool that has to do with that. See you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Oh.